back on it now. Look, he's about to eat it. Yeah, yeah. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, you got her. You got her. Oh my gosh. That's your PB. Today we're going to be fishing with some big swim baits for some really big bass. This is actually a pond that I've had a lot of good luck in. I timed it perfectly the last few times I came out here and there was a lot of fish on bed. And I thought it would be cool to come out here with a swim bait and see if we can get some of these really big bass to pull on this. And I also got a little secret in today's video that you guys will find out throughout the episode. That's pretty cool. I think you guys are really going to enjoy. I got this paired up on my Kicking Their Bass X-Lose combo. We have right hand bait casters, left hand, and also spinning combos. If you want to check them out, they're only available on kickingtheirbass.com. I have the link in the description box below. And for everybody that has purchased the combo or purchased any merch off of my website, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. It really helps me out and it means a lot to me. But we're gonna go ahead and get after this and see if we can catch some big bass on swim baits. Let's get after it. First things first, let's make sure our combo's set up. Tighten our drag down a little bit. It is very windy today too, guys. Even if these fish are on bed, it's gonna be very hard for me to see them or I might have to go into a different spot to where it won't be as windy. I think that's fine. I usually set my brakes between two and three. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Most people are probably going to go between five and eight. I like mine between two and three. That's just what I'm comfortable with. Um, I like my reels being a lot looser. So we're going to go ahead and get after it. I want to see if we can catch a big one on this mag today. You know, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is a mag draft. You guys know this is one of my favorite swim baits. And uh, <laughs> I'm just hoping we get a big one on it. Swim bait fishing is so much fun. But let's go ahead and get after it. There's some bait popping right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. There's actually some bait popping right there, right before I cast it. That's a good little sign. I don't know what to expect today, guys. Uh, hopefully the fishing will be good. And hopefully they'll pull on the swim bait. You know, it's one of those things too, that if they're not eating it too well, obviously we're gonna have to switch up to something else and try to catch some fish. But I'm gonna really give the swim bait some time and see if we can put some big bass on the bank. Oh, yeah, there was a really big one right there. I just watched him swim off. He just boiled too. That fish, I'm telling you, has been there for literally like two months. It's so weird. <laughs> it's definitely not the same fish, but there has been like a five plus pounder sitting there for almost every time I've pulled up and he's been so finicky every time I can never catch him. I just had a nibble right there. That's exactly what that was. He just hit the tail of me. So now with us knowing that there's more than likely a lot of fish on bed in here, guys, I'm, I'm gonna really stay off of this and keep throwing it there. We might be able to trigger a reaction. That was more than likely a bass on bed that just nibbled at the tail when it went past him. So instead of us walking right up on that fish and spooking him, we're gonna stay a little further off kind of play with them here see if maybe we can trigger them to bite i will say i've had experience throwing a mag draft on beds in the past it tends to really irritate the bass so it's a very weird way to catch a bed fish but ha, i've done it before and i've actually caught an eight pounder on bed with one it was actually the eight inch one this one's a little small one, but it's definitely a method that i've proved in the past that we might be able to get on really good today Oh my gosh wow 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 he saw me and i saw him that was about a six seven pounder guys and i see him right there on the right oh my god there's two of them one of them's even bigger dude oh my goodness you got two big bass one i can't tell what the size of one of them is one of them's freaking megalodon they're both big they do not like this swim bait. Maybe I just need to stay put right here and keep casting until I irritate them. That might be their bed right up there. 
I think they might have both followed it off, which is interesting. Usually when you're bed fishing with any other normal bait, you don't see both fish follow it off bed. You usually see maybe one follow it off, but having this swim bait, with it being such a big profile, it irritated both those bass. You could tell those were some big ones, guys. Those, that was no joke. That's what we need to be getting into. There are a couple beds up here, so I'm assuming one of these beds are theirs. I just wish it wasn't windy so we could have a clear vision on what's going on here. All right, guys, I, I will say, I think it's about to get in the zone right here. I think everything's about to shift. And we're about to have some excitement coming up. Keep your eyes peeled right here. You're about to see some crazy stuff. Wow. Guys, I've came to a conclusion on what's going on. I don't want to speak too soon. These fish look to be as if they're done bedding. I think I saw maybe one, maybe two after walking about the whole pond. But I'd say 95% of these fish are done bedding or they're not pushed up on beds. I have seen a ton of post spawners. I've... There we go. Mm -hmm. Look how skinny that fish is compared to how big they were a couple weeks ago. That's awesome to get a bite though. And I bet you that this is a fry garter. Right, right to what I was about to say. I've seen a lot of these post pond fish and these fry garters just protecting their fry. You know, you'll see a big group of fry and a big bass around it. And that's exactly what we're witnessing. That is a nice bass to start off the day on that mag draft. He is bleeding a little bit. I hooked him in the tongue. Sometimes it's a little weak spot for a bass, but we're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. I'll release him over here. But what a way to start off the video, guys. It took us a second, but we got us a fish on the bank on the old mag. Big swim bait action. Thank you, baby. There we go. Let's get it, boys. And by the way, if you guys haven't already, please hit the like button. It really helps out the videos, guys, and it, and it really makes it worth me putting these out. And I'd really appreciate it. It's as simple as going down there and just pressing the like button. If you guys could do that, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit that little notification bell. You know, those little things right there help out the channel more than you guys would ever know. And if you could, you know, drop a comment down below, interact with each other. Or uh, maybe you guys have some cool video ideas that I could be doing, or maybe some tips for me out here, you know. Uh, whatever you guys want to comment down below, I'd appreciate as well. But we're going to continue to fish. You know, I walked almost this whole pond, and I've seen a few fish. I've seen a few really big fish. But it's just, they're not positioned on how we would want to catch them right now. I was really expecting to find some more bed fish, and that is not what we're finding find a lot of post spawn action and a lot of uh bass protecting their fry which can be a good thing too you know some of those fish get very territorial and very uh predator like when they're around their fry and you tend to catch them really good but none of those fish really wanted to commit to this bait it could be awesome me throwing this big swim bait we're not going to get as many bites oh my goodness that's a big one i'm about to say that was a freaking bite oh yeah that's a good one boys Let's get it, baby. That's what we want to see. He's strong, too. Oh, you a strong guy. Oh, he's not as big as he looked out there. He's a good one, though. He's a solid three-pounder. Nice. That's a high two-pounder. I ain't going to give you three, buddy. You a nice fish, and thank you for biting, man. And you could tell, guys, if you go back on the videos from the past couple of weeks, and you look at the size of the fish, like this fish a couple weeks ago, he was a solid, you know, I'd say three pounds. Right now he's only about two and a half. It might be two and three quarters if we're lucky. But while we're on that topic, never mind, he's bleeding. I was about to say, he's bleeding. We're gonna get him back in the water. Them, them tongue hits with the hook. This bass do not react. It's not like I get them in the throat. Look, it's just literally in the tongue and they'll cause them fish to bleed. It's the weirdest little thing. But that is sweet, guys. Look, we went from fishing this whole pond we fished almost the whole thing. They're not having a bite. We had like a nib, we had a few followers. We saw a few fish to catch in two bass, pretty much back to back. That's a plus right there. And let's uh let's keep this day going. Wow, that is awesome. 
And I will say that this mag drive feels great on this kicking combo. If I was using the eight to 10 inch mag, I'd say that I'd probably need more of a heavier rod. But on this combo, this one feels great. And I think I'm gonna sit here for a second, guys, and really fan cast this pocket. With a lot of these fish being post-spawn, they've pulled off the bank slightly. And a lot of these fish that were right here on the edge of this grass, up on bed, could have pulled off to more of this edge, to more of those points, to more out in the middle. So, oh gosh, yeah, see, we're, we're figuring them out. God, you see my rod tip? Don't follow it in right here, boy. Yeah, they're, these post spawners are hungry too. I'll tell you that. Man. Let's see if he'll eat me again, guys. He hit me two good times right there. And you, and you see where I casted? I casted about 10, 15 foot off the bank, out towards that point. We're still in this pocket, if you notice that. But we're casting further off the bank now. You know, we're not, we're not sitting here flipping a worm up on this grass. You know, that's one thing I did while fishing a majority of the other side of the pond is I was fishing up shallow. You know, I was trying to find some of those big old heads that are pushed up in the grass, but maybe our best bet is to start throwing out in the middle more off the bank and catch some of these fish that have moved off. We don't want him to see us too much, but the, the part that you want, you want to irritate this fish. So I'm going to watch, I'm going to reel it right in front of his nose. You see him turn on him. Now don't move your bait, but just reel your line a little bit and just barely shake it. He should pick it up right here. Shake it, shake it. Ooh. He turned off of you. All right, keep your bait there and just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, these fish are on bed. You're gonna be able to, oh, he's coming up. He's about to eat it back. He ate it. Oh, sorry. All right, he's probably not gonna bite again. That was about a three pounder. But there's a there's another one, you know what I mean? You got a male and a female. I don't see the other one though. Oh yeah, he pulled back up. He might be, be able to bite again. This, this is the one time of year that you can kind of get a fish to bite once you miss him. Oh Gosh, my goodness. Right oh my goodness. He's finicky, you see that? We're just gonna keep it there, don't do anything. Just keep it there. She's gonna nose up to it. Yeah, pop it one little time. She, she ate it, she ate it. Yeah, you got her, you got her. Watch out my rods behind you. All right. Oh my gosh, all right. You're gonna land her right here and I'm gonna grab her for you. Just let her fight, you're good, you're good. Just keep that pressure on her. All right, you got it. That's a monster. I can't tell if that's the big one. I mean, it's a monster. Don't get me wrong. Be careful with it. You got I got it. it. Yeah. I don't even. Pop her up. Look at that. <gasps> oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Look at that thing. Are you scared of it? No way. <laughs> Grab that thing. Grip her hard. She's gonna be a little strong. She might kick. You got it. Yeah. Nice. That's a big one, ain't it? That's your PB. That is. All day long, yeah. Ooh, and for fish of the day. Well, good job. I'm gonna grab that scale out of your pocket. She gonna be okay? Yeah, she's gonna be all right. I'm gonna wear her real quick and then get her back in the water. I could. I think it's probably. I did not know she was that big from over here. I don't know if she's five. Yeah, she's four. Four and three quarters. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Beautiful. That's still a good one? Yeah. You think? I love her. <laughs> Good job. That's a she big is. one, ain't it? Woo, she's off. That's sweet. She's like, you know what's crazy? That's the small one. That was the male. Isn't that crazy? The female's bigger. Yeah. Big one. Good job. Thank you. You want to find more? Yeah. Do it. Yeah, there's a big bass right there. You, you want to catch it? No, you get one. You want me to catch him real quick? Yeah. You ready? Watch it. Oh my God, look at the boil. He didn't eat it. That was crazy. Did you see how hard he boiled there? Yeah, they're big. I just gotta work on them a second. So look, you know, they pulled off. So you see how my bait's still there? Yeah, like he's back on it now. Look, he's about to eat it. Yeah, yeah. That's a big one. That's a monster. That's a monster. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the other one's bigger. This is the male. That's a five, six pounder. That's a five pounder. <laughs> Look at that one. Is that not crazy? The crazy thing is, I think this is the, I think this is the, the male, and that's like a five pounder. No way, right, guys? It's pretty big bass. We got some good ones for for two of our fish. I think it's bigger than the last one. Yeah. Let's He's gonna be five. Yeah. Yours was four eleven. It looks bigger. I'm gonna take a guess. This one's gonna be. I think he's gonna be 501. If he's not, he's a high four, but I think he's five. Woo! He's 501. Yeah, look. Or 52. He's 52. That's awesome. All right. Five pounder, guys. We got her a 411. Then just got me a solid 52 right here. That's crazy, guys. Some big bass on bed in Florida. You gotta love it. That's a good one. All right, let's get this baby back in the water. 52. Gotta love it. There's another big one over there. Gosh, that's a big girl. Gotta love that right there, all five pounders. And we have the scale for y'all today. I know you guys like that. That was my little surprise. Ooh, I got one. I think he's really big. I can't tell. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Can't tell how big he is. He's out there in the middle. He's fighting hard. He's not even that big. I mean, he's a good one, but he's not big. He is fighting. Chunky, two pounds. Another one on the old worm. That one's fat. It's a really healthy fish. Nice one. He's right out there in the middle. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, flip him on up here. Nice. Gosh, that's a good one. There you go. Woo. Hold him out. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a really good one. That's like a three, three and a half pounder. He was far out there. I'm here. Yeah, don't fall. Woo. You're crazy. What a release. You're professional or something? 